Right. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We're going to start in a few moments just to give some more folks the opportunity to uh, log in. Joining us, everyone, we're going to start in a few moments just to. Okay, Lauren, you think we should get started? Yeah. Okay, um, great. Hello, and welcome to the lunchtime series sponsored jointly by Colorado Mountain College and Garfield County Libraries. I'm Audrey Imhoff, and I'm the library director at CNC's Spring Valley campus. And as librarians, we want you to know that we're still working and we're still here for you. But like many of you, we are working from home, juggling our work lives with our kids needs. And like you, we have more entertainment and information typically do. We also don't want to be spending a lot of monies um, renting movies online and paying for streaming services for TV or audiobooks and ebooks. And so, because of this, we came up with the idea for this lunchtime series this week, where we're going to share some librarian tips and tricks with you. So, during this week, you're going to learn what librarians know about getting great free entertainment resources and educational resources while we are sheltering at home. And our focus today will be primarily on streaming video services for today. And Lauren Arnold, the manager at the Glenwood Springs Branch Library, is now going to walk you through how to use some great movie databases. So thank you, Audrey. And thanks for joining us, everyone. Um, forgot to mention at the bottom of your screen, there's a Q&A little button. If you have any questions at the end of this, go ahead and type them in there and we'll answer them. Uh, let's see. First, I need to share my screen. Oops. Hmm. Okay, well, apparently I did not there are some settings on my computer that won't let me share my screen. Um, Lauren, do you want to switch that and I can talk to them about, about what that we were going to talk about later? Um, oh, there you go. You got it. All right. I just decided to share my entire desktop. Uh, let's see. All right. So yeah, we're still figuring all this out. So thanks for your patience, everyone. Um, okay, so there are two services that I want to talk about today. The first is Canopy, the second is Hoopla. Let's start with Canopy because this one is entirely streaming movies and um, include documentaries, uh, fiction movies, all that sort of thing. So Canopy is a great service. Um, it offers lots of um, like independent films, lots of documentaries. Um, as, as well as some great educational videos for uh, kids. So how this works is you go to, you can go to this web uh, address right here, gcpld.canopy.com. You can start on our website under research scroll down to Canopy. Um, you will need to create an account, um, but you don't need an email address. Here it is right here. You just click on access or just go straight to the kids part. Um, but you do need to know your library card number. If you happen to not know that, um, go to uh, our web page and then scroll all the way down to uh, about us. Oops, wrong one. Contact us. And just fill out this form saying, hey, I need my library card number and we'll make sure to get that to you. But anyways, oops. Just 
isn't working the way it's supposed. To. Okay, so um, back to Canopy. Uh, the way this works is uh, it gives you a certain amount of checkouts. Um, sort of like with your library card, you can check out up to um, 30, um, 30 items at a time. Now, the cool thing is um, Canopy Kids does count towards that. Same with credit free viewing here at the top here. So all of these things, all of these movies and documentaries and TV shows uh, can be checked out without hitting your um, 30 checkout limit. And let me just show you Canopy Kids real quick. So you can set parental controls so that you can give kids actual just they can go ahead and and start using it on their own and they can figure out what it is they want to watch and it looks like they have some really great resources here so um, that's definitely one option um, um, the thing to keep in mind about canopy is you're actually streaming these movies so you need to be connected to wi-fi at all times while you're watching it um, the really cool thing, though, is if you have enough smart TV or a device that hooks up to your TV, like, you know, a, a Roku or an Apple TV, um, then you can download the, the Canopy app and just do all this straight from your TV. Um, let's look at Hoopla next. So Hoopla, same thing, go to research, you can access it right here. And the thing about Hoopla is technically, it's not just um, movies. Um, they also have um, uh, audiobooks, comic books, and uh, ebooks, uh, and music. What I love Hoopla for is music. When something gets stuck in my head and I know that I need to listen to it right away, I can usually find the album here on Hoopla and then I can listen to the song for free. Um, the cool thing about Hoopla is that some of these things can be downloaded. It really depends on what the company that created this content um, wants. And a lot of the, the, the movies and things are actually more up to date and more mainstream than Canopy. Um, you also need to create an account with Hoopla. You do need an email address for Hoopla. Uh, but um, it's a great resource that you totally should try. Let's see, so that's including some fairly recent and just a weird collection of things that are totally worth checking out. Um, one, I wanna show you one more thing before I hand it back over to Audrey. Uh, if you're like, I don't really wanna mess with this, um, Hoopla also has an app that you can put on your TV um, but you don't feel comfortable with that, you can also search um, for movies and whatnot um, in our catalog, if that's easier for you. So let's see, this book, this movie is called The Tomorrow Man. So let's look for this. And you will see right here, e-video available online canopy. Um, you also see that it's in green, meaning it's available. That's the best part about Canopy and Hoopla is you just get, you can just watch it right away. As long as you have enough checkouts, you can do that. Um, and I'll just point out really quickly, um, you also have 30 checkouts for um, Hoopla, um, but I'm actually using my Pitkin County library card here to get into Hoopla to access their 15 checkouts. And uh, Audrey will talk a little bit about more about that for, with our secret tip of the day. Okay, do you want to stop sharing? Yes. Great. Uh, stop share, here we go. Okay. Thank you, Lauren. Um, the, the main um, I wanted to share with you is that just like Lauren said, she's logged in with her Picking County library card. Um, you can actually have multiple library cards at, at, or you can have one library card at multiple different libraries. 
in order for online resources. So when I was looking at Hoopla, for example, I have my Colorado Mountain College library card, which many of you in the community may have as well, um, which is just a e-card, it's not a regular card. I also have my Garfield County library card. I also moved recently from the Arapahoe district where I have a card as well. So when I looked at all my different Hoopla accounts across those three libraries, I would be able to get 60 uh, movies or audiobooks or ebooks, um, which is a lot this month. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now, don't worry if you think, well, I only have one library card and I can't go to the physical library. You actually at many libraries can get a temporary digital only library card. You can do that at Garfield. You can do that um, at definitely at Basalt. You can do that at Denver Public Library. You can do that at Arapahoe Libraries. You can do it at many, many libraries. So definitely take advantage of that secret librarian trick of saying, how can I get the most online resources from these different libraries? Um, it's a great way to kind of extend the resources that you have available to you. And for those of you from CMC, if you don't know your library card account, you can always reach out to us by phone or email and we can give you that. So um, Lauren, is there anything else you want to share for today? Um, not that I can think of. Um, I think we should um, promote tomorrow's uh, secrets out as well. Yes, definitely. Um, so as I said, we are going to be doing this every day. And um, I'm just looking at what is happening tomorrow. So tomorrow you're going to hear from um, two other people, two other librarians. And that the topic there is going to be a little bit more academically focused. Um, you need help um, for classes. So you're, let's say you have a middle school kid or an elementary school kid, high school kid, and they help with their classes, need help using databases, need some help with their online schooling. They're going to talk a little bit about that, um, as well as uh, Becky from Colorado Mountain College. Um, she's going to talk a little bit more about if you're a college student either at CMC or maybe working at home on your university schoolwork, um, how we can be a resource to you as well. So please join us tomorrow. These are also all um, being live streamed and available uh, beyond this time on our on YouTube as well. So thank you very much. I hope you learned something today. Thanks everyone. We'll see you next time.